so cute. I feel like the sweatshirt was made for me. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a summer haul. I was gonna film this outside to make this more summery, but my neighbors will judge me. So we're here in my safe corner, away from human contact. I have a whipped coffee with me and I'm ready to get started. I ordered some fun summery clothes because you know what? I've sized up a bit and a lot of my clothes don't fit me so I needed some new summer pieces. I'm kind of against hauls, especially now. Like I've done a lot of hauls in the past but it's just a whole fast fashion thing and there's just no need for so many clothes and it's something I really need to work on. I mean this haul for me was something like I kind of needed some clothes. I've just been wearing t-shirts, so there's nothing wrong with that. I just wanted to kind of spice up my wardrobe, so I guess this is kind of unnecessary. I mean, <sighs> still. I also like shopping sustainably when I can, but these aren't really from sustainable clothing brands because my favorite one is shut down, and a lot of sustainable clothing brands are very pricey, and they're also very mature, like they're not made for people my age. So I'm working on that, I'm finding brands that could be a different video yeah just a little disclaimer so i don't have a massive haul like many people on youtube some people have just massive hauls this is just a little more reasonable but this was also kind of a big haul because this is a lot of clothing to get at once like i'm kind of like against hauls because like that's a lot of clothes at once <laughs> like it's better to get like things piece by piece instead of just a ton at once so yeah this is also a try on haul because in order to like kind of get a real look in the pieces you i mean i'm sure you kind of want to see them on and see how they look also i just think it's more fun to watch than just what someone got i don't know that's just my view let's just get right into it let's see where do we start let's start with summer tops the majority of these clothes came from paxon they have some really cute clothes and i don't know i was kind of having a little bit of a hard time like finding things in my style and what i wanted to wear i mean even though a lot of stores are carrying pastels now and i love color and pastels so that made me very excited so this is definitely a very colorful home all of the tops i got are from paxon and all of the tops are in medium so the first top is the this like hot pink fuchsia, I'm gonna call it a fuchsia tank top. It's a peplum top. They have like a ton of shirts made from linen and it's from the LA Hearts brand, which is like I think their main brand. So I was kind of unsure about getting this linen brand just because I knew it wouldn't be as stretchy, but that's the peplum tops they had. I just think peplum tops are so flattering and if you're like kind of insecure, maybe about your stomach or something, kind of just conceals that and it's super flattering. So there's a little tip for you guys. So this top I'm actually so happy with. This is one of the more flattering tops I got as I said and it's a really fun color I normally want to get this color because I normally get a lot of pastels but I'm really going for just all kinds of bright colors and fun colors this summer rather than just pastels also tank tops are nice just because it gets hot so then since I showed you the peplum top and that linen type shirt I'll show you the other one I got I got just this white one I wish they had this in more colors. I love this. It's just like a peplum t-shirt in a linen material and it's just in a plain white. So here's a plain item. Here's something that's not super colorful. Yeah, this one is another super flattering one and I'm happy I got it. But also, like I said with the last one, since it's linen, it's less stretchy and that's kind of annoying, but I do really like it. The last shirt, like I said, this is an insane ball like some holes. So this is the last shirt. It's one of these like almost wrap shirts. I have like this black wrap dress and I think it's really flattering so I wanted to get it in a t-shirt style because I thought it would be flattering. It's a little booby-licious, you know, this kind of is a little loose but it's nothing we can't work with. Yeah, this one is in a super fun bubblegum pink color. When I hold it, <laughs> it falls down more. This one is more revealing than the other one for me. I don't know, I'm just not someone who is super comfortable with that. I think it's really cute on other people. Wish I could be like that but yeah this one's super fun i just needed some like cute fun top something other than a t-shirt 
because that's that's all I've got. I actually said that was the last one. I actually have one more top, but it's just not like a summery top. <laughs> the last top I got, which was also from PacSun, this one is actually in a large and it's not very summery. <laughs> I got this sweatshirt. It is so cute. Like, I had to get it because it just made me so happy. It's definitely bigger than I thought it was. I feel like this is more of an XL than a large, which I don't really mind or care because I just wanted my sweatshirt to be a little more bigger and comfier. So this is what it looks like. I feel like this is me in a sweatshirt because it's like all the colors I love and it's also still like a mental health happy thing. It's so cute. It says happy mind on the front here. Then on the back it says happy mind, happy life. Take it one day at a time. And also it has a giant smiley face which is so me. I love, I just, I feel like the sweatshirt was made for me. That's why I had to get it. And even the take it one day at a time, just been living by that for way too long now. So this is just the cutest thing in the world and yeah super comfy but yes just for your reference you might want to size down one i just feel like it fits more like an extra large than a large so next is bottoms which i might as well introduce this one first you'll see it kind of goes along with the sweatshirt the next item i got off of boohoo which i normally do not like shopping off of like boohoo and stuff it's just very cheap quality and obviously it's not good for the environment or for the workers or anything neither are like any of the brands i'm really talking about i would like to shop sustainably but since i'm going through clothes because i'm still like a child i do go through more cycles of clothes like due to sizing and stuff so i can't just invest in pieces because my style is also developing so that's my reasoning for that but i don't normally shop on like boohoo or anything but one of my favorite people all things lily and she posts on her story of these sweatpants from Boohoo and I guess she really recommended them so I took her recommendation and I've been looking for pastel sweatpants for a long time I just looking for the perfect sweatpants I want them to be really cute and pastel like I want fun colors and I want the bottoms cuffed like this and I want them to be sustainable which these are obviously not these are like a fun color which I love and they were a good price a lot of sweatpants that i find are like a hundred dollars now and just did not have that in the budget so these were a good alternative for me for right now what i do have to say about these is that they're kind of just straight down you know i feel like the thighs are kind of tighter and then it gets super loose at the bottom that's just something i noticed when trying them on it was nothing that i was like upset about i just it's something i noticed so maybe i just have big thighs but that's my observation so just if to know if you are looking to purchasing these I think I got them in a medium. So then I got a pair of shorts from Target. Target is a place where I stopped buying clothing from them, but like I was saying earlier, I just needed clothes for the summer. So I just bought one piece from Target and it's these denim shorts. They're like a mustard color. So these are what the shorts look like. They have like copper buttons and I got these in an eight. Honestly, I think I could have gone down to a six, but I'm glad I sized up. They're just comfier that way. Also, I didn't really know my size. Uh, it's kind of a problem. I'm still figuring that out but yeah they're stretchy enough so they're still comfy and they're good basic the next shorts that i'm going to show you like i kind of have to cover my butt with them so these i can wear shorter tops kind of the next things can just be their own category so the next category is biker shorts i love biker shorts so the reason i love biker shorts is because i just feel like they make a t-shirt look cute like like i said i've just been wearing t-shirts so this is the perfect thing to go along with my t-shirts i already have biker shorts and i love them but they're all just like black and like i have one that's kind of like a lightish purple almost i don't know but they're still kind of neutral i thought these would be a really fun way to spice up my outfit and make everything super summery and just kind of make me feel like i'm actually dressing up when i'm literally just putting on a t-shirt and biker shorts so yeah these are super fun first one is from pack 
Axon and I got them in a medium. It's from a me to we brand. Interesting. They're kind of ribbed. They're so cute. Look at this color. I just, I love this color. So when I saw them on Paxon's website, I had to get them. This is how I felt about the sweatshirt. So I just had to get both of them. They're just so cute. Love these. And then the next three biker shorts I got from Amazon, actually. I got three different colors. They're all from the same brand. I don't know what brand it is. I'll still link them down below. But with this brand, they kind of took a while to send. And when they came, they like weren't in an Amazon package. Like it was a different seller. Yeah, and then also the colors are a little different than they were online. Which I actually don't mind. But I mean, I could see that being a big problem for some people and it's kind of a problem. <laughs> I'll go one by one. Here I have these. These were supposed to be like a lighter mustard color. So my plan for the colors that are like different than I expected, I might bleach dye them. So I might do like a bleach tie dye with them and then it would just be a cool pattern with like a lighter shade of this with this. I think it could look really cool and I think this will be my tester one because these are the ones that I'm the least sure about. Then I got it in a light pink which this color is what I wanted it to be. It's how I expected it so I'm not going to do anything to this one. Also these ones are like pretty long which it's good because then like, you can see it under a long t-shirt because that's like another reason why I love biker shorts because I like wearing like comfy t-shirts but they always go over the shorts and people are always being obnoxious like oh are you not wearing shorts like yes I'm wearing shorts. So then with biker shorts, you can like see them and you don't have people asking you that stupid question. So the last one were these teal ones, which I definitely thought these were going to be lighter. But I'm like kind of questioning keeping this color because I think it's so much fun. But also I think it could be cool if I bleach dye it because I'll still get this color, but I'll just get lighter shades of this color swirled in. We'll see. This was the one I'm questioning if I will bleach dye it or not. But the kind of tannish one that was supposed to be mustard, I'm definitely going to try to bleach dye. I actually have one more item. They weren't ready until after I filmed the video, but they're a pair of shoes and they are custom so i ordered a pair of white sneakers off of nordstrom rack and one of my friends well technically one of my sister's friends she has a business where she paints normally air force ones kind of like drip creations and they're so cool i love it what's really cool is that it was kind of my own design but she kind of made it come to life it's a pair of shoes and i'm wearing them right now I'll show you. They're so cute. I just think they're so cool and they have little Kirby's on it and I love Kirby and I love like the little stars and stuff. I love the base that I picked out because they have this amazing gel rainbow lap form to them. So I actually just learned that she will ship shoes. So even if you do not live in my area, you can still order from her. Her Instagram is Lynn Kicks. Lynn dot kicks. I'll put it in the description box. The only thing is that you'd have to pay for shipping, but yeah. Yeah, that's it for my haul. If I do bleach dye them, I'll show you guys my process now. But otherwise, thank you for watching this video. It honestly means like a lot to me. Let me know what other kind of videos you want to see and I will make them and I will see you in my next video. Oh my god.